Hello, I'm the curator, and yes, I did use the word cavalcade in the video so I could have an alliterative title, but that's not the point. The point is that these are today's items. Now, I like collecting odd cutlery, as you might have seen with my miniature butter knife and the schwab video, which there will be an addendum to those at the end of the video, but, you know, carrying on. Since people started eating, people have wanted to make their ways of eating easier and you do that by using cutlery. It must be observed that especially in the past few centuries because food has started to become an easier commodity to get, well relatively speaking, um, well just usage of cutlery has shot up, not just usage of knives and forks but all sorts of odd cutlery that you wouldn't expect there to, well, be, I suppose. And uh, here are some examples from my collection. Now, on, I'm going to go left to right. This is a very odd piece of cutlery. Now, you'll probably be able to work out its function, you know, on the offhand. I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. Um, but what it is it's a sort of knife fork combo. Now there are, is a knife fork combo um, having a, a serrated edge on you know this here. There are left and right handed versions of this and knife fork combos. Uh, the knife fork combo is called a nork. Now uh, there, a British slang word for breasts is norks so it's either a knife fork combo or a single breast which I don't know why you would refer to a single breast. Uh, Amanda's Nork got observed upon today, tomorrow, and many other days in between. That's not the story, though. This is, in fact, a pastry fork, and uh, you might be able to... It might make sense to you now. If you, you know, imagine using this for croissants and pies and stuff like that, you use, um, you use your left hand to steady the plate. Let me just use my notebook here. Say so this is the plate, you use the left hand to steady the plate and you sort of cut and then eat, which is, you know, it's sensible. Uh, it's been many cases before, you've seen people with cakes cutting them with the edges of their forks and this is a fork that's specifically designed for cutting of baked goods. Um, so you wouldn't have thought there would be a fork for that. Um, I can't tell when this was made, it doesn't have that on it, but it does say, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, might be able to, uh, stainless steel, Hong Kong profile, yeah you can see that, that's right, so, uh, just wait for it to refocus there, yes, uh, this is a pastry fork, and uh, after this video, she'll certainly be using this a lot more because I do enjoy croissants and pain au chocolat and brioche, and this is sort of the ideal thing for it. Onto this one now. I'm not so sure about this one. I did my research. I looked on articles about you know different types of cutlery, and I'm assuming that this is a seafood fork. I've seen pictures of seafood forks, and they were very long and narrow like this. But something that isn't explained are these two thorns on the end of the outer tines of the fork. I couldn't find any sort of seafood forks of that nature. I probably wasn't researching properly. Again, I'll just keep my hand here. I probably wasn't researching properly, but yes, uh, seafood fork, I'm guessing because it's so long. Uh, I suppose you could use the thorns on the side for... Uh, I don't eat seafood or any type of meat, so I wouldn't know myself, but you use it for scooping out the inside, I suppose, you know, hook, scoop, you know, prod out, I'm guessing. Uh, but yes, it's a very nice fork. I'm sure I'll find a use for it somewhere else, but maybe a bean fork. You know, each individual bean, and I feel like a poshman and a fool. And these are two different types of butter knife. Now, ordinarily they wouldn't be that interesting, but I like these ones because I've seen butter knives in my time, and they tend to be fairly you know, uniform. These ones, however, aren't. These are, um, this one's very, very curved and got a very rounded end, and this one looks like a trowel in a sort of odd type of way. Now, it's possible, uh, 
again you might want to look at the, the thing there see the camera just adjust it there we go stainless uh, does it say anything else on this one no uh, I imagine you'd like to look at the back of this one in this case it's uh, stainless nickel so that would explain the sort of yellowish uh, sort of yellowy gold colour of the the fork as you might be able to guess I'm trying out different focusing methods and um, it's really showing on the way that my focusing isn't working as well as it usually does I'm still I'm still learning still a learning process anyway uh, I'll lay on this one stainless foreign oh it's from foreign lands and um, you know, it's going to take all of our, our many many jobs despite the fact that it's a butter knife I really don't like British politics sometimes that's not the story the story is it's got this pointy end and um, I'm, I have looked up butter knife etiquette and it's possible that this one could be a master and this one could be an individual or, or the other way around or they might not be at all but Butter knives, I found out there's a master and an individual, which makes sense because, uh, say, you're spreading uh, butter on toast or um, you know, something that could contaminate the butter. You have the master knife to cut off your individual butter pats, and then the individual knife that you get gitten, gitten, you get gitten, you get, get given, gitten, gitten. Sounds like a place in Skyrim. We're off to Gitten to solve the Stormcloaks being perhaps they'll kick them out and set fire to their stupid irradiant blonde hair. They look like bloody idiots, I don't like Stormcloaks. Um, I'm just looking through my, opening the right page on my notebook again because I'm recording a couple of other ones today. Um, yes, so with your individual butter knife that you get given, you can, uh, with the butter pack you've gotten with the master knife, you can use this individual one to spread it on your toast so there's not uh, as much fear in uh, you know in uh, of uh, contamination of butter because we've all you know well, everyone who's eaten toast or especially burnt toast is known to open you know their butter things seen all the little black spe specks and it's not really a big direct problem but you know it's there uh, is it worth getting these uh, if you can I mean, it'd be nice to have a little bit, you know, a couple of, especially this one, because this one actually has proper use even today. It's not like archaic thing. It could be used by the common person because, you know, even the most common of people eats cake. Uh, so, yeah, if you can find uh, interesting cutlery, do. I shall try and find more. And uh, I've just realised instead of cavalcade, I could could have used collection at the end of this video. Hmm. Anyway, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs>